Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our Ottomans campaign. Or sorry, not Ottomans campaign, this is the uh, the Byzantium campaign, I know what I'm talking about. Trust me. Alright, so we're making caravels, that's the newer ship, right? Yep. Or flight. No, caravel, that's what we wanted, yes. Okay, good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, we're gonna march the whole army over here, which um, is gonna be too much for this province, but we'll blockade this coast. And then we'll spread out over all three. Our leader does not have any siege value. We could get another one. I think we will. I think having leaders is a good thing to do. Now he's really crap, but... You know, they're not all gonna be experts. Let's go pick him up. We also have three free diplomats. We could fabricate claims on Byzantium. Or, sorry, Ottomans. I keep getting it backwards. We'll do that and that, and then let's improve relations, or... I guess we royal marry Muscovy again. Stay friendly. Poland has declared war on the Livonian Order. Oh crap, how dare you! Don't you dare kill my cannon! I just was trying to pick up my commander! You suck! Religion of Bosnia has changed to Reformed. Hmm. The nation of Muscovy, your faithful allies, requesting you come to their aid in the Polish conquest of Wenden against Poland. So Poland borders me, and they want my provinces, and um, that's not good, because Poland is... Uh, Pretty strong, I think. They annexed Lithuania. We've got 55,000 troops. Compared to my massive 32. How strong is Muscovy? 56, 55,000? Okay. I'm just worried. I have my whole army down here right now. Alright, I accept. I'm going to probably regret this. Hopefully I can kind of get lucky and intentionally exile my troops so that I can get away and, and walk through the Ottomans back up to here. Because I have a feeling that the Polish are going to come through from up there. There's a couple ports up here we could blockade. One whole port. 100% blockade strength. Damn straight. We've won the Siege of Gaza. That, that was pretty quick. Conversion day is 83 months. It's actually quite quick. We're losing so much money. Reinforcement. Okay, Muscovy. Show them who's boss. I can't call France into this, can I? I really wish I could. We could use their help right about now. Alright, so our war goal with this is um, Gaza, which we've actually occupied. So we got a ticking war score working in our favor. Uh, the Timurids will probably find a way across Kara. I can't even... Yeah, no, no. Kara absolutely hates them. So the Timurids are blocked out, unless they go through Kazan. Friendly... Timurids, I, I don't see you actually... You, if anything, you'll come up this way. It's not going to be easy for them. Is that actually 100% blockade of Poland? No, they've got land up there, that's right. Alright, well, I feel like with one missionary, we should probably get him working, even if he causes a revolt. Simply because it's like, what else are we going to do? And where was the province that turned to reformed? Bosnia. It is considered a heresy. We could take that other decision to increase our tolerance of heretics. I think we will. 
That'll update next month. Yeah, that's good. Oh, level one Diplo Rep guy. Amazing. Our diplomatic reputation is fantastic now. 16. We have room for more relationships. Hey, Venice, how about you come my vassal? Or Croatia, maybe. You're a vassal of Bohemia already, that's right. Hey, Georgia, do you want to become a vassal? <laughs> You've rivaled me. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Fortunately, we're quite tolerant to these religions. Ooh, nice air. 435. Okay, so I do see Timurid armies. They did, fin they did find their way through. Probably through Kazan and Crimea. Now they're going after what? They're going to Kaffa. Why are you going to Kaffa? <clears throat> What's in Kaffa? I think Poland's going to get there. They're going to win. Poland, Sweden versus Muscovy. Yeah. I need to get my troops up there and help out. Which means that I need to win. Couldn't one of you have had siege value? We'll leave a minimal number there and I'm going to go fight this army. Council of Mas Maastricht. Commissioned cardinals addressing the challenges posed by the Protestant movement. Right. <clears throat> what he said. Something, something, something. Um, the Reformation. It's causing problems. Okay, so we're at 6%. <clears throat> they are very willing to be in the war, although relative strength of the alliance is way in our favor because of France. Looks like they're going to try to siege down Genoa. But if we keep occupying stuff here, then... I just feel kind of bad about this whole thing with Poland. Hey Poland, if I just like, you know, asked to get out, would you let me? <clears throat> You've bested us! Okay, so I think I'm just going to keep sieging down Yemen. <laughs> the problem is that the Timurids are the ones that we need to to make not want to be in the war. <clears throat> They're probably way behind on military attack. Level 7 versus 9. Pretty easy fights if we can get to them. But I, I highly doubt I'll get... Oh, wait, you're threatened. You'll give me military access. I have access through Poland because we're at war. And Genoa's in my alliance. If I could get my army up there. We'd have to clear out Yemen's army so they can't take anything back. And then... Other than that, it's just pretty tricky. I'd have to ferry them all home, which is not fun. Well, that didn't take them very long. Three penalty, really. Well, it's a good thing he's a good good leader. Just lost a little tiny bit of infantry. And he is trying to come down here. August 10th. Okay. And we've cored it. Yay! Okay. No, Salzburg, I'm not gonna I'm not interested in your wedding.
Okay, that army's gonna go chase. These three sieges are all about equal. They'll be finishing soon. Unfortunately, Genoa's gonna get occupied. But... I think we're on track to win the war down there. Up here, though, not so much. Pomerania is occupying Poland. Are they involved in our war? Yeah, they are. Croatia, Bohemia. And I guess it doesn't look so so good on their side either, if Bohemia is involved. I don't know. I'm gonna let the nearby neighbors, you know, beat each other up while I mostly sit it out, but pretend to participate. So that they are all weaker. Three free diplomats again. What better use do we have than fabricating claims? I'm not really sure. It's all about conquest, right? Ooh. Fighting in the mountains. Good thing he's a good leader. 5-3. One on another siege, great. These battles are worth quite a bit. The occupations are not really that big of a deal. They're not really adding that much. It takes a long time and they're about equal to a single battle. Which means uh, this navy is not actually blockading anything anymore, so we should unite it up here just for security. Gain stability, absolutely. More conversion of power, awesome. Timur is down to medium. If we had a diplomat, we could try to negotiate. Rebellion and mentees. We've already courted it, so that's fine. I actually don't mind, just revolt, it's whatever. This is uh, a scary ish. More troops on our side than in, on theirs, but... It'd be nice if we could have called France in. If they'd give, given me control... Could have helped them out. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> that didn't go so well for you. This one, on the other hand, seems to be going quite well, for some reason. Okay. Relative strength of the alliance continues to move in our favor. I don't, I don't know why they're not moving from Genoa. Do you not have the ability to get military access through Poland? I guess not. Otherwise, I would, I would assume that they'd be here by now. Alright, so we have a diplomat. Let's talk to the Timurids. Hey, Timurids, um, if you just like gave me all three of these, that would be great. No diplomacy points, because it's part of the war goal. We take some overextension, aggressive expansion, that's all fine. Yeah, those are the things that I want. That's my list of demands, so... If you could just go ahead and... It's not your land. What? I mean, what do you care? Really. Just give me what I want. Otherwise, I'm going to beat your little buddy up. Yemen's going to get up to 20 war exhaustion soon, okay? How's that sound? I'm just going to continue to beat on them. Am I overbuilding my force limit? Yeah, I am now. Alright, so the Mentees people have revolted. Yep, mm-hmm. Yep, sure, totally. We lose 25 prestige this time. Whatever. You dumb peasants. I really feel like with this patch, 1.6, like, you're supposed to just give up <laughs> to peasants most of the time. 
I mean, they rebel so often, and nationalism is just nasty unless you accept local autonomy. Mamluks have declared war on Yemen. Okay. You realize I have them nearly fully occupied, right, Mamluks? Yemen has 20 boats. Okay, well, I'm going to take a break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, uh, real quick, let's fabricate a claim on stuff. I feel like I'm playing um, the Ottoman campaign all over again. Just fabricating claims left and right. Hey, Georgia, I don't like you. Okay, I'll see you again soon. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you in a bit.